What you're going to hear today will sound different because 99% credit card review sites are working for the credit card companies, selling credit cards, and giving you dishonest and sugar-coated information to make money off you. Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. On this channel, you'll find non-affiliated, unbiased, and honest opinions about credit cards and everything else. There are no affiliated links, and I do not take money or work for any credit card companies. Today, I'll talk about Amazon Canada's recently launched Rewards MasterCard. If you remember, in the past, Amazon had a credit card for Canadians, which was with uh, Chase Bank, and uh, the one feature of that credit card everyone liked was the 0% foreign transaction fee. The new card, which is with the MBN Canada, does not offer any 0% uh, foreign transaction fee, uh, but it offers some features to offset that credit card fees. So let's look at the rewards structure for this credit card first. Amazon Canada offers two different sets of rewards structures. So the first one is for Amazon Prime member. If you are a Prime member, then you'd earn 2.5% on Amazon products, whether online or at stores, uh, for example, Whole Food. And uh, also on foreign transactions, you would earn 2.5%, and then you would earn 1% for everything else. If you are a non-prime member, then you'd earn 1.5% on Amazon online or at Amazon stores, and uh, for everything else, you'd earn 1%. So this is obvious that this credit card is uh, for Amazon Prime members, but even uh, if you're an Amazon Prime member, uh, the reward structures are not that good to keep this card and use this uh, year after year. For example, if you have uh, a credit card that offers 4% or 5% return on grocery stores, then all you have to do is to buy Amazon gift card at grocery store, and then you can use that card to purchase on Amazon, and that way you get 4 or 5% return on Amazon transactions. So even if you're a Prime member, although you're getting 2.5%, I don't see any point uh, keeping this card. And another foreign transaction feature uh, the card is trying to give for Amazon uh, members is that uh, you're going to get 2.5% back on foreign transactions. So it's just a, uh, you're going to be actually break even because uh, there's a 2.5% foreign transaction uh, fee and then you're going uh, to get a return of 2.5%. So at the end, you're going to end up with uh, paying uh, nothing for foreign transactions, but at the same time, you're not going to get any reverse on those transactions, uh, but this is this only applies to Amazon Prime members. If you're a regular member, then you're not going to get any break on foreign transaction fees. Currently, Amazon Canada is running a promotion for everyone, under which you'll receive 5% return, up to 3,000 spent for the first six months. So basically, you're just getting $150 if you spend $3,000 for the first six months. The Amazon Canada Rewards Credit Card does not have any annual fee and it also offers 90-day purchase assurance protection, extended warranty guarantee, and trip interruption insurance. Once you have 2,000 points, then it will automatically deposit $20 credit into your Amazon account, and the points never expire, or there are no caps on points. So if you look at all the features and benefit, this is just a mediocre credit card. Uh, I don't see anything much into it to keep this card or to apply this card. And even if you are an Amazon Prime member, as I mentioned before, you can easily get a 4 to 5% return on Amazon purchases just by buying a gift card from uh, grocery stores. But in order to do that, you have to have those, one of those cards which offer 4 or 5% returns on groceries. What would have been more beneficial if they had some sort of anniversary bonus for this card. Uh, for example, let's say if you're a Prime member, then just by uh, you know having the card or spending a certain dollar amount, if they would give, give a discount on Amazon Prime membership, then uh, this is my uh, belief that uh, uh, they, they would get a lot more customers than the offers they have right now. So the Amazon MBN Rewards MasterCard failed to Canadian customers. I don't see any value in it, even if you're a Prime member. And uh, there's no point keeping this card uh, day after day or year after year because there are no uh, recurring bon benefits or uh, no perks for keeping this card. And even if you're a Prime member, and you can get more value from other credit cards. 
and also the card doesn't offer any foreign transaction uh, zero foreign transaction fee although it tries to you know uh, zero the foreign transaction uh, fees if you're a prime member but you know you can uh, just by keeping other credit cards you can pay zero percent foreign transaction fee and you can even earn rewards on foreign transaction fee so this is my take that Amazon Canada Rewards MasterCard is a disappointing credit card and unless they add new parks and features or benefits in the future not many people are going to be keeping this card and then unfortunately I cannot recommend this card uh, I don't see any benefits in this card to keep this card uh, and you know use this card for everyday purchases or even on Amazon, Amazon purchases forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the future with more credit card and other videos.